Hi, you join us here, AJ Electric H. Just quickly showing you how to override a Beninka Bob 50 um, and similar to Bob 30 and uh, also Bob 21 um, rams. If you, uh, before you override them, it's always good practice to come into your enclosure or if you know where to isolate the power. In this instance, there's this big switch here. So we switch that one off. This system does also have a battery backup. So I've removed one of the positive sides, but most systems don't have that. So just turn your power off here like so with your override keys. You want to put your key, you slide this back, put your key into the top clockwise, and then that opens this. Inside here you'll find an Allen key. Um, if your Allen key is missing, make sure you get the right sized Allen key to fit into this little slot into there. So putting your Allen key in, you follow the guidelines of the arrow, and you're looking to twist it then anti-clockwise. You'll hear it click like so. It can be quite tough. The gate can then open. I suggest once it's open, twist it back clockwise, just to hold it in position so it doesn't move about in the wind. Same procedure for your other gate. It's always good um, to make sure that you open the first, the gate opens first, you open that one with your override system. So same procedure, slide this back, put your key in, clockwise, oh, sorry, anti-clockwise, using your island key, You're looking now for anti-clockwise, following the arrows. Now you can open it manually. Again, open it up manually. And lock it in position. Ensure that, like I say, the power is switched off and that there aren't people in the way when you proceed with this. Right, so um, your, gates, your power is either back on now or your power cuts over, so you want to lock your gates back in. So, reverse, we come back over to here. As you said, we've left the gates locked in so that they don't flap out in the wind. So using your Allen key, put it back in, we're looking anti-clockwise, and then we shut this gate up. Again, making sure that we close the first gate first to close. So we just take it round until it closes, and then we lock it back in. Your Allen key sits back into its position, like so. And then you can just lock your keys down. Make sure that this is facing into that slot. You can have it the wrong way round and it won't lock. So make sure it's that way round. Then it will lock. Pull your key out and just get that back. So we go to the other gate. Put your key in. Unlock it. Take your Allen key out. And then we're looking to anti-clockwise again. There won't be a click this time because it's not talked up against anything. So then you'll be able to manually close the gate. Take it right round gently and then lock it back in. Put your Allen key back into this position. And again making sure that this is facing the right way to go into that slot. You can have it the wrong way to make sure it's the right way. And then lock with that. With that done, we then come back over to the power. We switch the power back on. It's a good idea to let it sit for a minute or so um, because you might find that some systems will automatically make their first maneuver and try to close, and then they'll be back up and running. If, however, they don't, use your remote and press it once, making sure that you're clear of all of the sensors and of the gates, and they should go through um, one sequence and then they'll be back to normal. Um, if, however, they open and they stop halfway through, like this set, for example, they're now locking and closing themselves, and now they're ready to be back to normal. If you find that they, they open and they stop halfway, then I would suggest leaving it for 30 seconds or so and then pressing your remote one more time and they'll synchronize themselves back into their normal position. Um, and that's all you really need to know.